Welcome back to Storage Chasers. If you are into storage unit buying or reselling, that is what we do. So stay tuned to follow that adventure. Welcome back to the Storage Chasers channel. We are about to head out to pick up a uh, unit we just won. Uh, we're only going to take the truck again because uh, it's a small unit. It actually only has uh, one, two, three, four items, maybe five items in it. <laughs> so, uh, plus we have the trailer full of stuff that we're getting ready to make a load to go to the flea market. So, yep, it is only the truck and it is uh, overcast. So we're a little worried that it may rain on us. Uh, luckily, this particular unit is close to home. It's uh, in Sumter. So it's only about 25 minutes away from us. So we're going to try and get down there, pick it up before they close for the evening. And we will just shoot the whole video probably there at the at the facility. So we won't have to bring it back to our home base operations. There is no security deposit or cleaning deposit that we have to leave for it or anything else. So we'll show you it when we get there. All right, we have made it to our location. Uh, we won this one on storagetreasures.com. Got this at a public storage here in Sumter. This was a uh, manager unit. Uh, as you can see at the top, lean unit, manager unit. And uh, we won this one for, somebody bid us up to 80 bucks on this. Uh, after all applicable fees, 86.40 out the door. Not a lot of stuff in here. A TV that's probably broken, a little mini fridge, which we sell these pretty easily, especially for going back to school people going to college need that a little desk fan that'd be nice for college uh, dorm rooms also and then there's uh, like a couch here with some cushions and some miniature shelf and there is what looks like a pallet in the unit so yeah so yeah that's what we bid on picture wise here's the pictures here is the live and we're gonna dig right into it right now because that's what we do all right, so the TV is the Samsung TV. Uh, I think that I see rainbowing in it here already. It looks like it may be, you know, the frame here looks kind of cracked on it there and then down here on the bottom. So I'm not feeling too hopeful that the TV will work, which we don't normally anyway. But we do have a little miniature fan that doesn't have a face on it. But there's a face over here, so we're good. A little mini fridge yeah not too bad need a little bit of scrub a dub dubbing in there the door's got a crack in it for a little freezer door but i don't think somebody going to college is really going to care too much about that so yeah we got that nice little mini fridge we'll plug it in when we get home and then we got this uh, here brown couch see a couple little minor holes there and some stains that we can uh, try to work on we'll take these uh, covers off and whoo Throw those in the laundry, scrub it up, dub them, put the TV stand, and yeah, get all the bugs off of everything. That'll be good. But we're going to get this all loaded up into the back of the truck and uh, get it all swept out, even though they asked us or told us we didn't have to clean it out or sweep it out. We're going to do it anyway. That's because well, that's what we do. And we will show it to you when we're done. All right, unit uh, 317, cleaned out, wall to wall to wall to door, way better than what we got here. All right, we got our few items loaded up in the truck here, and uh, we're just going to head out of this and head on home. Uh, the couch is in a little worse condition than we thought, probably going to end up trashing it. Pallet might be good for wood, TV also looks damaged, so the mini fridge, which is the only thing we really bid on the unit for looks decent and we may be able to make our money back just on that we'll see so uh yeah hopefully you enjoy the video please like share subscribe comment all that good stuff and as always we will talk to you later